because some of these systems are really hard to talk about, it's really necessary to use visuals to kind of facilitate that. This whole thing right now is a map of how the game is going to work. Um, and we ha I had to map this out because the idea is just kind of like really tangled. Um, and it makes a lot more sense now that I've mapped it out. When talking to other people and collaborating, trying to explain this without visuals is ridiculously difficult. So I had to kind of map it out to show what's going on. So basically we start at the museum and from the museum the experience can ultimately branch in three directions. You can go the social media platform route, which will eventually lead you to all this stuff anyway. You can go the mobile app route, which again will eventually lead you to all this stuff. And then you can go the QR codes route, which will be actually physically at the museum that once again will lead you down these routes. So essentially all of these branches still get you here. Um, you'll just have different experiences along the way. Um, and so basically the way it works is the app gives you information about uh, the location according to a blank map. Um, and as you play the mobile app, um, as you beat levels, your map starts to generate. So those pin locations have um, relative location to where they could be. And then as you do QR codes and other sort of um, uh, web versions, you start to get keys that will unlock the location of the map. So as people work together to decipher clues, they'll unlock these locations in their game. And then once you um, unlock all the locations, the four locations combined act as a key for the last location. And then the last location has a gold ring there.